What is poppin'? Your boy is here. Uh, I'm retiring early. I'm going to bed early tonight. I ain't got no time to be flip flapping around. I tell you, it, 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 everything's good, bro. Everything's good money. I'm just uh, about to talk about um, crystal fragrances and uh, you know what 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 uh, what uh, crystal sent me to smell. And I think I talked about it. Well, I, don't, I don't think I talked about it. I did talk about them the other day. And basically, it was just, you know, just pretty much trying to fill them out and see exactly, exactly what I got out of them. So, I have all of them right here. You saw in the picture. I have them here. What's going on, CJ? Big E. J. And uh, who the other good brother? Oh, yeah, and Genius. Right on, right on. Yeah, make sure y'all hit the like and subscribe. You know what I mean? Subscribe to my channel. That's what we do. So, we can talk about these juices. And I can bring you this content. You know what I mean? As soon as I can. Well, what's going on pulling the strings? So, uh, yeah, this, this camera might be a little glitchy, but that's okay because my other phone is charging up. Again, hopefully it's not too glitchy. Well, it actually does look like the record, the, rec the other glitch things. So there's six people here, only uh, one like. And, uh, again, since it's nighttime, I'm not going to even start until I get five people here. I got to get at least five likes. So let me know when y'all are done hitting that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon so I can get you. Check me out. Cash at me if you think the content is worth it. Send me a little cash app thing from time to time at Roger, R-A-J-U-R. And we can do the thing, man. I can give you more and more content. I can get you the real content. You know what I'm saying? I can give you the real deal. The real deal and the steal. And all these people I'm reaching out to and people reaching back to me, you know, I really appreciate it. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So... First of all, I like to thank FJ. FJ, me and FJ was talking one day, and he had mentioned uh, crystal fragrances, and I think he even did a video mentioning crystal fragrances. So I'm like, okay, well, he was, had some pretty nice fragrances. He was kind of talking about. I'm like, well, let me see if I can grab me some samples. You know what I mean? Hey, they're kind of expensive, but hey. So I said, let me, let me grab me some samples. Now, what happened to the man? I had the the list, but they're all right here. They're all right here. So I talked about them earlier this week, as y'all know. I talked about them, I think, either, what's the day? It's Thursday. I must have talked about them Tuesday, maybe, Monday, when I, when I found out they were here. And uh, now I'm just going to rank my favorites. And uh, I got to do it because I was just so impressed, so impressed by Me Too, or MI2, by Nana Bailey. Man. I wore it this morning, y'all guys saw me, only had about that much left. I sprayed all that out, and I can still smell it on my skin. This rolls, I can still smell it. I just took a shower, I just got out the shower. Just got out the shower, I can still smell this. I don't know if it's an extra or what it is, but this non barely is banging. So I, 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 I talked to Crystal, me and Crystal just got finished um, conversating or texting. And, you know, she's told me about it, and I told her I really like, I really like it. She asked me... Which one did I like most? Did I like um, my other place, uh, Basami Mucho, or did I like MI2? I like MI2. Basami Mucho is good too, but it kind of reminds me, like I said, of, of uh, OG's piece, you know, which is good. Um, so, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. The MI2 right now, that's all I'm like feeling right now. I got to save some money up, try to get that bottle as soon as I can. I got to get that bottle. So, Crystal and Nine. I talked to Nine, y'all. Me and Nine was texting yesterday for about two hours. Back and forth. She's over in Berlin. I'm in Philly at work, right? Should I say that? I was on my break. I can't work in tech, so obviously I was on my break. And we were just going back and forth, and she was sending me pictures like I talked about this morning. She was sending me pictures of the Christmas trees and the celebration and everything. And we were just going back and forth. I ain't ever really talked to her today because I was kind of busy. But, um... Uh, yeah, she's a very, very nice young lady. I can't wait till she come, if she come over to the States. And she had, uh, my man Joe sent me, did a, um, Joe sent me, did a, a video on her fragrance. And he was actually there with, I'm not sure whether she was here, or whether he was over there, or whether Joe sent me is in Berlin, I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, he did a, he did a, he talked about uh, her uh, scent and the story behind it. And again, I want to talk about the story behind it. Only she can explain that story behind it the way she can do it. So, if you guys want to go to a website, and that is mbperfumes.com, 
and you can check out the story about her making a fragrance. She only had one fragrance, but she been making fragrance for everybody else for ages. She's always been making fragrances, but this is the first time she did her own fragrance. So, and I was telling uh, I was telling uh, Crystal that it kind of reminds me of Rose of No Man's Land, which I have right here. But then I did a real quick sniff of Rose of No Man Land. Different, different. This is much sweeter, lasts longer, definitely lasts longer, definitely lasts longer, and it's a little spicier than Rose of No Man's Land. So. You guys want to get into a rose like I told you this morning. If you want to get into a rose, you want to get into that. Or, just to say, if you want to get a sample from Crystal Fragrances, bada bing, bada boom, bada bing. I told you all the prices of them the other day, I think. Some were 10, some were 12, some were 15. Just call Crystal up. I need the samples. So again, thanks FJ, thanks Crystal, and thanks Mrs. Bailey for talking to me and we having a great talk. So let's get to it. Let's rank these bad boys. Now, starting at number 10, uh, no, it ain't that. I gotta look, I gotta look at it. Okay. Leroy on, on, on Emperor. Wasn't quite my thing. If I remember correctly, this is like a, um, barbershop type thing to me. We'll respray the, the strip again. Yeah, this one kind of remind me of barbershop. I'm gonna smell like Aqua de Gio or something. No, it's okay, but y'all know I'm not a citrus head like that, so I'm kind of biased when it comes to citruses. Even though I do have some citruses that I really like, I, I have Perfume Aromas, Aqua Viva, that's nothing but lemon. I have uh, Mrs. Gloss Made Me Do It, that's lemon. I got uh, Lemon Sherbet, that's lemon. <laughs> so I got, I like lemons. Okay, so that is, this would be number, how many I have to rank? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. So number eleven. If you like, if you like, um, if you like citruses, this might be good for you. If you like the barbershop type aqua de Gio stuff. This is good for you. Try it out. Try it out. Okay. Leroy Emperor, number eleven. I'll put it over here. So all my samples that over here, my samples and stuff, and my strips and my swatches and all kinds of stuff. Oh, shout out to my man Blair. Your package is ready. I just made a package for my man, my co-worker Blair. He came up to me the other day. Gave me his bag of empty juices. Some of them weren't quite empty. He was like, I need a refill. So, I got his refill. So, uh, Blair, that's your refill coming out to you. All right, number 10. Number 10. Because all these were pretty good. All these are pretty doggone good. Uh, Kisses Rain. Really didn't like Kisses Rain that much. Uh, didn't stick out to me per se. Again, that's my nose, your nose, your sniffer may vary. It's a different from the other day. Hold on. Smells different. I kind of like Kisses Rain. From the house of uh, Renier Perfumes. I think this was a high end one. I think this was $15 for this sample. $15. Yeah, it's pretty good. Hold on. That's pretty good. This is almost like Gourmand. This Oriental, Oriental Gourmand, if that's possible. So look it up. Renier Perfumes. R E N I E R. Rainier Perfumes, look it up with Granica. Or again, give Crystal a call. Man, I don't want to rank this number 10, but got in my hands, number 10. All right? All right, here we go. You've been making packages for Blair for like six years. Because <laughs> he always wants some juice, man. He always wants juice. I don't know if it's been that long. He really just started getting the new fragrances last year, but yeah, he, he liked that. He liked the juice. Uh, Bahik by Rainier. Bahik. Okay, didn't float my boat. I remember correctly, but a nice fragrance. Yeah, this is the one that smells like bat. This one that reminds me of zoologist bat. That smells like dirt off the top of the dome. 
I'm not sure what the dry down is. I might wear it tonight. By heat. By heat. Rainier perfumes. Yeah, this one reminds me of bat. It's not as dirty as bat, but I do smell that tincture. I do smell that kind of dirt thing. But I also smell a little bit of green in the background. Yeah. All right. By heat. In fact, by he could be number 10, and Kiss's Rain would be number 9, okay? So, Kiss's Rain, we'll move that to number 9, okay? And by he is going to number 10, all right? Hold on, turn around time. Man, just stand up, will you? I got to talk these things to make them stand up. Stand up. You keep falling. Hold on, man. I'm, I'm going to be back with y'all in a minute. I got to talk to these balls and make them stand up. I want to write it down on the paper so I'll know what the sniff is. Next. Sarah Baker's um, Leopard. This is crazy. But I don't think... I think it's Mula Mula. Mula Mula will be number eight for me. I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Number eight, Mula Mula. I wasn't super impressed by it. I can tell I don't like the dry down that much. It's sweet as caramel, all that stuff up top, but when it dries down, I'm just not impressed with the dry down. It's not my type of dry down. I like my dry downs to be centrally soft, yet strong. And this one don't really do it for me. Everybody talk about it. Mula Mula. I said, well, I wanted to like it, too. I'm like, please send me Mula Mula. I want to like it. Everybody likes it. Doesn't hit it for me, but it does make it number eight. Sorry. It's not number eight. It's been moved to number nine. Cause, <laughs> you know why? Because Kisses Rain keep moving down the list, man. So Kips is this is rain is number eight now. Number nine, Mula Mula. Kips is rain is that juice. Basami Mucho. Again, like it. Reminds me of OG's juice. Um something wrong with the spray. I think I broke the sprayer. Yeah, ain't nothing coming out of there. Yeah, it reminds me, you can smell the you smell the coffee in this. You go, it's, it smells like coffee. But the dry down just don't hit it for me. But if you like coffee, it's not a bad piece. I mean, compare that with Intense Cafe uh, or Ristetto. But I think it's pretty nice. I think it's pretty nice. So, yeah. Uh, Basami Mucho by Phoebe Peacock. Okay? All right. Basami Mucho. It's number eight. It does slid down again. The kisses rain continues to move down towards number one. Kisses rain. He's trying to move down to number one. It's, it's, trying, it's trying to mess with. It's trying to, it's trying to mess with M, 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 I two. It's trying to mess with NRI too, I'm telling you. Oud Bourbon. Okay. Another uh, Byron Perfumes piece. Didn't float my boat. Not bad. It's all right. I don't smell a lot of oud. I don't smell the skanky oud. But I do smell some kind of kind of Mason Francis Kirk John type oud. In fact, it almost reminds me of MFK. It got an MFK vibe to me. Speaking of which, man, I got to get a good deal on that Oud X Street. I need that. Yeah. I pulled the trigger on that Clive Christian C. Yeah, that's a good price. Like I said, but you're not going to find E for that price. I saw the three. It was C. Uh, what's going What's going That's because they probably last bit of their stock. They can't move it out. But you're not going to find E for that price. You can forget about that, guys. He is a whole nother animal compared to seeing all those. But the price was still good, like you said. That was a good price. To get a cloud Christian up in your cage. 
This is something though, even if it's a good price, if I ain't really feeling it, I wouldn't buy it just to put in the cage per se. I gotta really, really like it. I mean, it don't matter how much money it really costs. I gotta really, really like it. I mean, if it's over $50, I'm, 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 hey, 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 hey. But for real, for real, I mean, C is not bad. C just never floated my boat either. But E and V, whoo, yes, me. Yeah, good deal though, bro. You did a good job. Yeah, you, that was good. I'm going to the Galleria tomorrow. Okay, okay. That's what's up, Christian. Right on, my brother. Number seven. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. All right. So number six was Oud Bourbon. I like Kiss's Rain more than that. I like Kiss's Rain more than Oud Bourbon. So, Wood Bourbon has now been relegated to number 6. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. It's number 7. And Kiss Rain is now number 6. And just continues to move down. Sarah Baker Leopard. Now, this right here is something special. This is crazy. This is really crazy juice. I would like a bottle of this because it's weird. I would, I would, you know what this kind of reminds me of though? It's weird, like Bio Volta or El Cosmico. It's doing that vibe. You know, you get this citrusy kind of weird fruit vibe from this. Yes, it reminds me of El Cosmico. That's what this reminds me of, Leopard. Man, I want to see the dry down on this. Let's throw it on the skin. These right here are going to be. The ones that's left are going to be eligible for dry down tonight, okay? All right? I definitely got to spray Kisses Rain on too real quick, all right? So, yeah. So, yeah, Kisses Rain stays where it is compared to Leopard. Because Leopard, Kisses Rain is nice. But Leopard, man, Leopard. You met, you met Sarah? That's what's up, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Kisses Rain is so good. It smells so creamy. And leopard just smells weird. Okay. But leopard can't be in front of Kisses Rain. It just can't. You can't do it. Leopard. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. And Kisses Rain is now number 5. Kisses Rain started all the way at number 10. Now it's down number 5. Mm, it's so good. It's so good and creamy and sweet. Yeah. Kisses rain. It's nice. All right. Ristetto Intense Cafe. And I really like this, but because I have the regular Intense Cafe, there's no need me spraying this on my skin. Because I got a, I think I have a good coffee fragrance. Like I say, Atelier's um, uh, Cafe Tuberosa. I like the coffee in there too. The coffee in this is good too. If I didn't have, if I didn't have Intense Cafe, I probably would buy this. But because I have Intense Cafe, there's no need in buying this again. But if you don't have Intense Cafe, I would get Reset. I would get this Resetto. Re, Restretto. I would get it. I would get it. No doubt. Number three. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Number three. Let's try Sidel. Let's try Sidel. I think I remember Sidel being nice. Let's see. Sidel by Swink Perfume. Swink Perfume. You know, something about this that I really, really like. It gives me like a leather. I don't know if the leather is suede in this. It gives me like a leather suede vibe. Yeah. But it can't mess with Kisses Rain. Kisses Rain comes down, baby. Kisses Rain is now number three. And, uh, yeah. Ristetto is number five. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Number three would be Sadell, which is not bad. Sadell's not bad. Number three would be Sadell. What 
What is Kiss's Rain in? I'm sorry, Kiss's Rain is now number three. Sweet Perfumes, Sadell is number. Sadell. Yeah, Kiss's Rain is number three. But I got two more left. That might not that, that, that it might knock out. Number two, which means what's left for me to spray. Not it's not ranked number two, but it kind of may be. This bad boy, uh, La Ego Victor. La Ego Victor. I don't I don't know how La Ego Victor. La Ego. I don't know. La Angle. La Angle de la Victor. What did this remind me of? Funky. Funky ooh. This reminds me of like um this almost reminds me of the Joff by, by Geodroff. Yeah, that funky ooh. This gotta be ooh, man. This, this gotta be some funky ooh in this. I know FJ should have this. I know he should definitely have this. FJ. I ain't seen FJ in a while. I'm not sure FJ is. I think he retired for a while. If FJ doesn't have La Angle Victor, I don't know what you're missing out on. La Angle Victor is number three. Because Kisses Rain is number two. And you know what number one is? You know what number one is? Number one, Nan Bailey, Nanan Belly, Nanan Belly. Oh, that's a strong rose. That is a strong rose. Nanan Bailey, me too, MI2 is number one. So I just ranked my top 11 samples that Crystal from Crystal Fragrances sent me. And, um, yeah, I really, I really like them. I like them. I kind of like them all. They all got a place. But Kisses Rain. Man, I like Kisses Rain. I didn't think I like Kisses Rain. You didn't get any funky nuances in it? In which one? Which one, Christian? In the uh, Victor? You talking about the Victor? Uh, D Live Victor? Cause that Dila Victoria smells like funky, ooh, like Najaf. I'm telling you, it's gonna smell like me, bro. And I got Najaf right up here in the cave. Yeah, I don't, yeah, this smells like Najaf, bro. I'm, I'm, yeah, this smells, this smell oody, bro. I don't know, it smell oody to me. What's going on, C Money? Yep. So, uh, that's it. So again, thank Crystal Fragrances for sending me out the deals. I'm saving up my money so I can buy MI2 and probably Kisses Rain. Kisses Rain and MI2 are the first two on the list I want to grab from you, Crystal, if you see this video, okay? Definitely, definitely. Oh, you know, you know how it is, man. We all smell differently. I just smell funky hood in that bad boy. Is there oud in it? I gotta look up and see if there's actually oud in it. Also, gotta start greasing my ankles, man. Did I say that? I started greasing my ankles. I went to the doctor the other day, man. My ankles like this, about the like like Brillo pads. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cheer. So I'm done. Rating the crystal fragrances. So if you guys want to talk about anything else before I shut this down, because I'm done in 15 more minutes. Shea Butter. What's Shea Butter? Oh, nah, I use Vaseline, guys. Straight Vaseline, straight petroleum. Straight from the gas tank. I've been using petroleum all my life. Ever since mom was rubbing petroleum on, so. Yeah, I don't want the Shea Butter, man, because, you know what I mean? I, I just like... I like petroleum jelly. Yeah, well, yeah. So what y'all want to talk about? Hey, 
That's so many samples is ridiculous. I'm sure you got a billion samples too. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, a billion samples. And the thing about it is, this is not even close to all my samples. I got a bag I keep in the car. I got about a thousand samples in them. Samples, man. Just in case somebody asked me about something. I'm like, oh, damn, my head. Let me see if I can smell that. Or trying to find something new. What's this TFK joint? What is that? TFK. Can't see what it says. There we go. Fly me to the rose. Oh, yeah, this was a, oh, another rose fragrance. Okay. Let's see what's up. Fly me to the rose by TFK. Put the point on the muscle. I've been working out. Okay, don't worry about that. Fly me to the rose. I think I like this. I think I got this down in Bergdorf. Totally different rose scent. Oh, yeah. It's not an MI2 rose, though. I got to see if I can find this. Can't find TFKs anymore. Can't find them. I figure I'll just blow that out real quick since I had it right here in my hand. I got to give me some Arshia. I got I to gotta give me some Chia. Chia, Arshia. I got to give me some of this amber right here, man. But somebody got a really good deal on Ronnie and Jay online. My man Derek Nowak is selling Ronnie and Jay 50 mil for a buck 25, 100 mil, 200 dollars. That's a good deal for Ronnie and Jay Amber Luke. But he's selling one called Cure or something too. So I'm looking through those. I might want to blind buy a Cure, this Cure joint. But yeah, this 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 is good though, right? My man C Money hooked me up with this. C Money hooked me up with the Ar Arshia. Per 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 whatever. You got some more samples over here. I mean, I usually get these out when somebody get a real big package they buy from me, a decan package. Not throw some of these in. I got some stuff E dot sent me. He sent me uh, what's this? I don't even know what this is. Venom D, egg. By P. Tor. He be sending me some crazy stuff, man. I don't even know what that is. Venom D. A. Uh, I forgot these in here. What is this one right here? Man, Sarah Cedric Bois. I ain't know I don't like that. Don't even worry about that. We do not do Cedric Bois. Lubin Akkad. Okay. See, if you buy a good decan package from me, I'll throw some of these in. You know what I mean? They gave them to me free. I can give them away. All right. Liquid Airs. Imagine Airs Fortis. This is the one that smells like Fortis. Liquid Airs. Imagine Airs. It smells like freaking uh, Black Afghano. Dang it. Just like Black Afghano. Yeah. Liquid Airs. Is there any here? I can't even see it. Ain't nothing here. Oh, yeah, liquid airs smell like black Afghano, Fortis. What we have here? Ormond Jane, Ormond Man. You know, I, I smelled so many Ormond Janes the other day down at Perfumology. I can't do no more Ormond Jane. But I do, I like Tulu now. Took me a while to get to like Tulu. I really didn't like Tulu. I thought it was too soft, man. But that dry down is the way for it. That dry down is the way for it. It's going to take you a while to get that dry down. Also, I want to get Talif. I want to get the, um, no, the Amber joint. Um, the Amber x from Ormond Jane. I like that. I like that. The Amber x Where is that? Where is it at up here? Oh, Amber Royale. I think it's Amber Royale. It smells pretty good. But I want the x -ray. I think it comes in the x -ray. Well, Taif. One of these bad boys. Let's see. I want I want one of them X straight some more mind James. I'll tell you that right now. What we got going? What Chris Collin fragrances are you interested in? Uh only one. Even though Sweet Taboo is cool, but it's not groundbreaking, but it's cool. 
Savage, bro. I'm saving up money for that Savage because he'll be here on the 27th. So I'm saving up money for Savage. Saouf. This sounds like something you might have heard before, um, Christian. Saouf. S A U F. Did you send me these? Saouf. Vox. Humanair or something. This sounds like something you probably would wear. I'm not even going to put that on my skin. It's crazy. I don't even like the name. The name is just too crazy for me to put that on my skin. What else we got here? Oh, we got some uh, sympathy. What is this? Killian? Oh, yeah, man, my eyes are getting jacked up. Sympathy for the sun. I don't even know who makes this. Oh, dear Rose. Dear Rose, sympathy for the sun. You know? I got so much stuff up in here, man. Here's my, here's my, ooh, I know it ain't. But the Bella Cabella, man. I, I sold this to my friend, Cutie Pie. As soon as I sold it, man, I wanted to get it back, man. This is the one that made with red wine by Imagineers, uh, you know what I mean? Bella Rebello. Bella Rebello. Middle Eastern perfumery is another world. Okay, I hear you, no doubt, man. Absolutely. Ex Hineho Cure Kalesa. I didn't even see this, man. Cure Kalesa by Ex Hineho. Cure Celeste. I might want to put that on because I know where I can get that from. It ain't going to be cheap. But Sax got those joints. Sax is carrying Ex Hineho. Nahilo along with uh, Bergdorf. Memo Russian leather. Never even tried these. They just they just sitting here in the dog and box. Torn oh Tom Ford Oo Wood. And Oo Wood was the was the first time Ford I bought. And nor did New York. And they're no longer in my collection. Show you what I think about those. What else we got here? Killing in sacred wood. I got just a little bit left. Sacred wood. Just a little teeny weeny bit. A little, look at I remember what it smell. Oh, man. But you know what? Sacred wood almost smells like Santal blush. I got to get my hand on some Santal blush. Anybody sell Santal blush? I got to give me some more Santal blush. I got I to gotta have that. I got to have that Santal blush. Some of these I never put names on because I said, well, I'll know what they are when I smell them. And then I mess around and find them and forget them. Oh, what is this? This is chocolate. This is going to be chocolate greedy. That's chocolate greedy. I saw my man Blair my chocolate greedy bottle, but I kept a little bit for myself. That's chocolate greedy right there. Santile Blush is that juice, bro. Oh, this is ood right here. Some of these I like when I don't put the label on them because it chest my nose out. See if I remember stuff. You know what I mean? I don't know what this is though. No idea. I don't even know what that is. It smells good though. All right. I got a whole bunch of perfumology samples in here. Ood 27. Of course, that's all that FJ talked about. U27, man, I got U27, 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 U27. And Nord 29, which I have the oil of Nord 29. How you just, man, you must have been reading my mind. So you said that I brought that up, huh? Nord 29, I have the oil, though. Which I haven't used in a while. Maybe I should put that on tonight. Ugh. I'm ready to lay down, though, man. I'm tired. I was up last night dancing in the studio and acting crazy, man. Well, I wasn't acting crazy. I was having a good time. All right, this is what I have. I have Nor 29 in the oil. Just in case you want to save yourself a couple dollars. Because this will last all the time. Or sell that. The hat. Just got to be careful because the syringe pick up a lot of oil. Look at it. It's dropping. Put some on my leg. 
It's just dropping out, man. You gotta be careful. You wanna get just just the right amount. Just the right amount. You know, I'm gonna put that right here. I'm rubbing. That's why I bought this, because this will last forever. And the oil does smell a little bit different from the, from the juice. It does, but look at it. I'm wiping it on the table. See, it's too much. It's starting to drip down my hand. I got to put it on my leg somewhere. Ah, It just smells so laid back. It is so laid back. Yeah, so like I said about the body sprays from Tom Ford, you don't have to buy the bottle. This will, this will last me forever, man. There's so much juice left in here is crazy. It's just so laid back. It's just like chilling. That's why it's noir. Because it's chilling in the darkness. Noir. All right. All right, that's it. So, again, the video is about. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. Yeah, man. Put some on your neck or whatever. Bada bing, bada boom. I got to get ready to take my contacts out so I can't be getting stuff all on my fingers on my hands. So that's my Noah 29. But again, thanks to Crystal Fragrances. Uh, this video is sponsored by Crystal Fragrances. Whether she likes it or not, because I don't put her name up there. Hey, right? okay. what the heck? Now, I man, I might get to smell one. Maybe I'll grab one. Let me smell this Cure Celeste. Because I don't know what this Sahoof is. What's this Sahoof? What is it? Oh, that smells pretty good. Man, ain't nobody wearing no close encounter with no dog on U27 with no female. I take that. A partial. We'll talk. Yeah, we'll talk about that. I'll give you a buzz in a minute. This side oof is pretty decent. I'm going to have to look it up. Side oof. So, oof, by your humanist, something, somebody. I, I'll look it up. All right, I'm putting that on my hand tonight. Put some sa oof on me, dog. I need some of that sa oof. Dog, what you wearing for tomorrow, dog? Cuz, me and a lady going out. I'm going to put on that sa oof, dog. They put that sa oof on. Y'all ain't know, man. Y'all be, y'all be hating, dog. Don't be hating on that sa oof, dog. Come on, man. I got to talk to y'all later. This light is getting on my nerve, and I'm ready to eat some more of my bar, and I'm ready to take these contacts out and just sit back and relax and look at TV. Yeah, this Saoof is kind of good, though. Wow. But this Nora's starting to smell good, too. Well, let me try this Cure Celeste. Is it here? X Nahilo. Cure Celeste. Let me try this real, real quick. And then I'm out. Put it over here. Ah! It drip down. Cure Celeste. Ah. Now I don't know whether um I don't know whether Crystal has these, but ask her. She might have them. Alright, Cure Celeste is different. It smells like leather. Whoa! Hold on, it's starting to get funky! So I get that funky leather. Saouf. And Cure Celeste. Yo, this Cure Celeste. Whoa. Okay, 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 it's not Hilo. Okay, it's not Hilo. I like cracking out some samples from time to time, man, and just mess with them. You know what I mean? Maybe I'll rank these eight samples tomorrow, or seven, because one don't have anything in it. I don't know. I don't know. This is good too. Um, Isis, no white oo, white oo, by Agonist. This is pretty good too. Real talk, real talk. I don't know the rank with any of the crystal fragrances that I have up here, but this is not bad. I'll try to get this. They ain't have it. White oo. The white oo is pretty good. It smells exactly like the name says, white oob. It's exactly what this smells like. That's pretty good. I got samples in right here. My man, C-Money, hooked me up with this right here. 
This drawing from the, the Monos line. I haven't really been messing with that though. So I don't know. Let's see what I'm going to wear tomorrow. Heaven willing. See what, see what I'm going to try to pull off tomorrow. You know what I mean? Weird to work, see what's up. But in the meantime, I'm just looking forward to getting that dog on MI, uh, MI2. Me too. I mean, I never smelled the rose that strong that just holds on that long. I mean, I sprayed that like 10 something this morning, took a shower, and I can still smell it in the back of my hand. That's a good rose. Guess what? I gotta go. I'm out. Y'all have a super duper great night. Talk to you soon. How did you boy? Thank you, Crystal. Thank you, FJ, for putting me down. Thank you, Nan, for a super fragrance. I'm looking forward to buying this soon. All right? Is it stronger than Tower Rose? Is this Rose? Nah. It's a whole different level. This is a less whole different thing, man. It's not it's not that it's not that rambunctious. It's a cool laid back rose. It's a cool laid back rose that lasts long. Andy Child just blasts you out all day. <laughs> Andy Child just reminds you every five minutes, uh, you did spray too much, right? You do know you spray too much. Nah, nah, nah. No, you you, you know you you sprayed too much, dog. That's his his rose. Her piece is, you could spray a little bit more. You could, you could do a little bit more. You could spray a little bit more if you like. That's what Nan Bailey is. All right? Now I got to go. Talk to y'all later, man. Have a great night. Sleep well. Have a good one. I'll see you guys next time around. All right? Be good. I'm out. I'm out. Oh, I got to go to bed. Hanging out all night, singing in the studio.